The first Democratic presidential debate will have candidates standing in order of where they are in the polls, but a literal reflection of poll numbers would look more like this. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has been dominating both parties on name recognition, with one notable exception. And during the first Democratic debate, she'll be center stage, reflecting her large lead in polls since August. To her right will be the Democratic Socialist Senator from Vermont, Bernie Sanders, who has been drawing huge crowds and has made the rounds on late night talk shows. Here. Everybody feeling the burn? <laughs> As he touts his progressive, liberal talking points, he's seen a steady rise in the polls, even topping Clinton in New Hampshire. Former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley, former Virginia Senator Jim Webb, and former Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee are all polling at less than one percentage point. So for the other three candidates who will be in the debate, it could be a make or break moment where they'll finally get to introduce themselves to the public. O'Malley's team wants to paint him as the best alternative to the other two frontrunners, and he hopes to be seen as more progressive than Clinton. He signed gay marriage into law as governor of Maryland. He also disagrees with Clinton on what the U.S. should be doing in Syria. Clinton's always quick for the military intervention. I believe that a no-fly zone right now is, uh, uh, is not advisable. Oh, and did we mention he's in a Celtic band? Webb's views pit him against most of his opposition. He's a Vietnam veteran and served as the Navy Secretary under Ronald Reagan. He was consistently opposed to the Iraq War, but he also has more conservative views. He has come out against President Obama on the Iran deal, he's to the right of most Democrats on the environment, and supports the Keystone Pipeline. But when it comes to his economic goals, he falls in line with other Democrats, talking most about economic inequality. How he would reduce inequality is a different story. This, this may sound odd coming from, from uh the uh, Democratic Party, but I think we need All to of this lower. Sounds odd coming from the Democratic Party. <laughs> <laughs> we need to lower our corporate tax rate. We need to eliminate the loopholes. We need to get this money back in, these trillions of dollars out there that are being held offshore because of our tax laws. Chafee has been in politics since 1985. He started out as a Republican, was the only senator in his party to vote against the Iraq War, then became an independent, and is now a Democrat. As governor of Rhode Island, Chafee signed gay marriage into law, and also signed a bill that would cut greenhouse gas emissions 80% from 1990 levels by 2050. He also supports the Affordable Care Act and raising the minimum wage. Chafee has some issues with Clinton's foreign policy. And uh, some of that muscular approach uh, to Egypt and Libya and Iran back then I have some differences with that. He wants more open dialogue with countries like Russia and Iran to work through differences. It will be up to these candidates to prove themselves on the debate stage Tuesday night. CNN's coverage begins at 8.30 Eastern. For Newsy, I'm Kate Grumke.